If you're a diesel owner, one of the reasons you probably love diesels is for the power. Diesel engines are known for their horsepower, big torque, and long-lasting abilities, but even a diesel engine may sometimes experience a power issue, and that's never what you want. If you find your diesel engine is losing power, there are several different things that could be causing the problem. This video is brought to you by Amsoil, the first in synthetics. Visit amsoil.com for more information. I'm Greg Jones for Engine Builder, and today in the Amsoil garage, we'll tell you why your diesel engine may be experiencing that dreaded lack of power and how you can get back to full strength. These days, every diesel owner wants the ultimate in diesel performance, and a lack of power from the engine can be an untimely occurrence. One of the primary culprits for power loss in your diesel engine is going to stem from the injectors. One issue could be the nozzles getting plugged up so the injectors don't spray like they should. It's possible the pintle side is being a little sluggish in opening and closing when commanded. Anytime your nozzle holes are not spraying like they should, or your pintle is not opening and closing like it should, the engine will experience something different. A lot of times a lack of power is noticed by something that's a bit more catastrophic, like the engine doesn't idle well, or it idles rough. If your injectors aren't the issue, you could have an air filter that's not flowing air like it should. If that's the case, typically your ECM is monitoring mass airflow, and if it gets to a point where it's not flowing a lot of air, it should be telling you by giving you a light or a filter reminder on your air filter box should show up. Another potential for power loss could stem from exhaust system components. If your EGR system is becoming plugged, that might not necessarily be a reduction of power, but if your system is trying to force EGR through there, it'll butterfly off incoming air to expect EGR gas makeup. If you're butterflying incoming air and fresh air makeup is closing off, it's not getting as much through the EGR as it thought it was supposed to and can become starved for air. That'll lead to a reduction in power. Typically that issue yields some sort of code when the EGR gets plugged and that same thing could happen to the DPF downstream. It doesn't get plugged from unburned fuel or soot particles getting caught. Rather, it's typically caused by metals from engine oil due to oil consumption in the engine. If oil consumption goes up, which naturally happens over time, the metals naturally occurring in engine oil can plug the DPF off and start choking the system downstream. As your flow gets reduced in the DPF, it'll try to regenerate and regenerate and regenerate, but it won't be able to due to a permanent reduction of flow. If your engine can't flow out, it'll be restricted to what it can flow in. So there you have it. If your diesel isn't producing the power you're used to it having, check your injectors, your air filter, your EGR system, and your DPF. That should get your diesel engine back to full strength. Once again, I'm Greg Jones for Engine Builder, and thanks for joining me in the Amsoil Garage.